One of the hard parts about being a dividend focused YouTuber is trying to appeal to the many different kinds of dividend investors out there. Well, in my attempt to do just that, welcome back to the Power 5 Stocks of the Week. Here, I will be presenting you all with the leaders each week in the following categories. Dividend yield, dividend streak, dividend growth rates, 10-year returns, and the stock with the highest percentage off of their 52-week high. The only requirements for consideration to be on this list is that you have to beat the S&P 500 over the past 10 years and have a dividend streak of at least five years. If that's got your interest, let's jump right into this week's video. The stock this week with the highest dividend yield is one gas, stock ticker OGS. OGS is a quarterly payer in the utility sector paying $2.60 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 3.19%. OGS has been paying and growing their dividend over the last nine years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 7.44%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 8.11%, and a payout ratio of 60.49%. OGS has an ex-dividend date of February 23rd with a payout date of March 10th. And OGS only has history going back about nine years. But had you invested $10,000 in OGS, nine years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then, that would have turned into $31,101.14, which is a 13.32% year-over-year return rate. And that's compared to the S&P 500 that in the same nine years turned into $26,139.08, which is a difference of $4,962.06. The stock leading the pack this week in dividend streak is S&P Global, stock ticker SPGI. SPGI is a quarterly payer in the technology sector paying $3 dollars and 60 cents per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 0.99 percent spgi has been paying and growing their dividend for the last 50 years they have a three-year dividend growth rate of 13.35 percent a five-year dividend growth rate of 15.15 percent and a payout ratio of 24.93 percent spgi has an x dividend date of february 23rd and a payout date of march 10th and with a single $10,000 investment in SPGI 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then, that would have turned into $92,372.16, which is a 24.89% year-over-year return rate. And that's compared to the S&P 500 that turned into $32,397.15, which is a difference of $59,975.01 over the last 10 years. This week's leader for the best dividend growth rates is Tractor Supply Company, stock ticker TSCO. TSCO is a quarterly payer in the consumer discretionary sector paying $4.12 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.77%. TSCO has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 14 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 39.35%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 28.51%, and a payout ratio of 35.48%. TSCO has an ex-dividend date of February 24th and a payout date of March 14th. And a $10,000 investment in TSCO 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $51,175.92, which is a 17.73% year-over-year return rate, again compared to the S&P 500 that turned into $32,397.15, which is a difference of $18,778.77 in the last 10 years. And before we get to this week's leaders in 10-year returns and the stock that's the highest percentage off of their 52-week high, please be sure to leave a like on the video to help others find the channel subscribe and ring the bell to stay up with all the dividend related content as soon as it's released and comment down below and let me know which of these categories is your favorite and why but now let's get to these final stocks of the week this week's stock with the best 10-year returns is cdw stock ticker cdw CDW is a quarterly payer in the technology sector paying $2.36 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 1.15%. CDW has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 10 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 18.22%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 24.82%, and a payout ratio of 20.67%. CDW has an ex-dividend date of February 23rd and a payout date of March 10th. And CDW has a little bit less than 10 years worth of history, but nonetheless, if you would have put $10,000 into CDW a little bit under 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then, that would have turned into $123,176.70, which is a 29.79% year-over-year return rate. And that's compared to the S&P 500 that turned into $30,221.75, which accounts for a ridiculous difference of $92,954.95 in just under 10 years. And this week's stock that's trading the highest percentage off of their 52-week high is Assurant, stock ticker AIZ. 
Assurant is a quarterly payer in the financial sector that's paying $2.80 per share per year with a forward dividend yield of 2.1%. Assurant has been growing and paying their dividend over the last 19 years. They have a three-year dividend growth rate of 4.09%, a five-year dividend growth rate of 4.97%, and a payout ratio of 20.19%. At the time of recording, Assurant was trading 31.27% off of their 52-week high. AIZ has an ex-dividend date of February 24th with a payout date of March 20th and a $10,000 investment in AIZ 10 years ago while only reinvesting dividends since then would have turned into $42,192.86, which is a 15.48% year-over-year return rate. Again, that's compared to the S&P 500 that turned into $32,397.15, which is a difference of $9,795.71 over the last 10 years. As mentioned, in the beginning of the video all the stocks i spoke about in today's video have beat the market over the past 10 years and all of these stocks have a dividend streak of at least nine years and use that comment section down below to let me know if you own any of these stocks and how they're doing for you and if you've ever thought about getting paid weekly from your dividend portfolio be sure to check out this video right here i personally think this is the best video i've ever put out on my channel but until next time